To get started on your literary criticism assignment, choose a text to analyze. You're going to be spending lots of time with it, so pick something you like. For this example, I'll use James Joyce's Ulysses. From the Pellissippi homepage, click on College Services and then Library. On the Library homepage, we'll want to go to Databases. We'll use the databases directly because OneSearch does not contain much of our literary source content, and the databases are much easier to search than OneSearch or Google. To see just our literature databases, use the All Subjects pull-down and choose Literature. We're going to use Literary Sources database. First, we'll want to find a work overview of the text to get some ideas on which topic to choose. To find a work overview, start typing in the title and it will start autofilling for me. Always take its suggestion because it will limit the results to just that work. In this example, there are many works called Ulysses, but I only want the results talking about James Joyce's novel. So I'll take its suggestion and hit search. To the right of the results, there are content types. We want a topic and work overview to get started. There are 83 results, but I would recommend using the one from the Four Students series. It includes novels for students, short stories for students, poetry for students, drama for students, and Shakespeare for students. So in the small search box to the right of the results, we'll type in Four Students in quotes. There are two, but we'll want the one with a long header. Click on the title. An overview will give me context for the work. An author biography, plot summary, characters, themes, styles, and historical context. It also includes an overview of the literature criticism that has been given over the years, which saves you from reading hundreds or thousands of pages. You'll want to read this whole overview to pick out a topic that interests you. I'll choose to analyze the common allusions that are used in this work. For future reference, I'm going to email this overview to myself. At the top, I'll go to the tools on the right side and click email. If it offers a PDF version, send that to yourself so you'll have the page numbers if you need to cite it. It will also send you the MLA citation, but please check that it's 100% accurate. 